Hello my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with our latest tutorial video for you today. So it's been a little while since we've actually done any of these tutorial videos, so I decided we're going to go ahead and look at one that's in Arena that not too many people actually are aware of. And we're talking about the event called Jump In. But what is Jump In? What is its purpose? And is it useful to help build a collection or even learn how to play the game? Let's see by jumping in. So before we go ahead and go through this, let's explain, as you can see from the little blurb at the top, what is this event? So it says, when you join this event, you will get to select two different half decks from a variety of themes in alchemy. Combine them and you'll have a deck that's ready to go. Play as much as you want here or use the cards to build new decks for other modes. They're yours to keep. You can resign at any time if you wish to rejoin and pick new packets. You will have to pay the entry fee again, but you will get to keep all the cards from the decks you choose. So long story short, as you see, jump in is going to cost you about 200 gems or 1000 gold. Once you pay the price, you'll be able to pick from one of three options as your first pack. And then after that, another set of three packs will come in and then you pick a second pack from there. You'll then have those together. And on the next screen, as you see, you'll have an opportunity to then look at again what your 40 card deck looks like. Similar to what you would have for draft, which is approximately the same thing, about 40 cards that you'll put together. And then with these two half decks to make one 40 card deck, you'll then have an opportunity to play them against some other opponents in this simple event. Once you do complete the event, you'll be rewarded with a simple card for your trouble. Now again, this doesn't seem like it's anything special, but why even look at this event? If you buy a single pack on MTG Arena, you will notice that it's going to cost you about a thousand gold for one pack of eight cards. However, in Jump In, you'll get an opportunity to get basically two packs for the same price you would pay for one pack. This is actually a really cheap and efficient way if you want to maximize your gold to then build a collection. You're not going to have much of an opportunity to go beyond what is otherwise currently in the Alchemy format. So just keep that in mind if you do want to at least stick to one simple format, then this is great if you're a standard or alchemy player. If you're a person that prefers to play more of the historic side of things, then it might be better advised for you to stick to something like, say, buying actual packs now that golden packs are a thing. But we'll talk about golden packs in another future video. So without further ado, as you can see on screen, we're going to take the two packs that we just put together right now, and we're going to have one simple match to show you again how you play. But before we continue, if you like any of the content that I do, all I ask for you to do is please give a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the deck techs, booster pack openings, gameplay, and so much more. Let's go ahead and jump into our event. Let's play the deck. I'll show you a quick little bit of commentary, and that's it. Thank you, everyone. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and look at what we have in our hand for our jump in event. Nothing again really crazy. This is again just for demonstration purposes. Nothing really wild, but hopefully you get to see again how simple it is to just get a quick win in, get your wild card, and just go on and build your collection up. All right, I'm gonna put down a forest. Rocket waste comes down. Swamp. All right, and let's see, what do we play here? I think we'll play the Gate to the Manor Born. So we're just gonna wait for a little bit. Again, this is, again, a super simple deck, so this shouldn't take us too long. Okay, let's see. All right, so we got to our three land drop. Outland Liberator. Hopefully we'll get a chance to flip this when it gets to night. Or maybe not. <laughs> let's see. Let's Tamio save, keeping that to keep it alive. All right, opponent. Another swamp. All right, it's nighttime. All right. We're going to gate down. Swing with a 3-3. Three, three. All right, they're down to 17. More swamps? Nothing? Okay. We're, just, we're gonna have a pretty easy time here. All right, Jet Nurse Fixer. All right, we'll put in our professional face breaker, so that's rare. We'll then bring in the Jet Nurse Fixer. All right, go swinging. Go down to 14. We need to create the treasure token. I think we picked a good set of colors for this one. I think we actually ended up getting a good set of stuff here. Awesome Prancer. Digging. Will we get a creature or enchantment? Let's see. Alright, we get a creature. Alright, our turn. Wolf. That might be helpful for later. We're gonna bring in Wolf Strike now. So we get a pump. Take away their Blossom Prancer. Oh, actually, I messed that up. <laughs> I, I I misclicked there, everybody. Sorry. Right, they're gonna then take the damage. Ooh, okay. This actually works out even better. Alright, so we get ourselves a quick little pump here. We do lose the Outland Liberator, but that's okay. Another treasure. And... Pestilent Wolf comes out. Giving this Death Touch next turn will be helpful. Not 
too bad. It's a pretty cool card. So we got a Wolfkin Outcast. And we'll just cast right now. There you go. Swinging with our Face Breaker. Hey. Great treasure token. Not too bad. All right, opponent. It's now or never. Generous Visitor. Okay. And they get a Pump It. Or they pump their Viper. All right. Do as many journeys. Play another land if they want to. Alright. Master's review. Okay. Lose. More creature. And our turn now. Ooh, here we go. Alright, now we got what I think we need to finish this matchup right here now. We're gonna go swinging. See what they do. No blocks? Uh, okay. <laughs> In that case. So, we'll pay with the treasure. Alright. Give Jet Mirror's Fixer a pump. And then Luxurious Libation. Okay, that's the max. Put it on the Professional Face Breaker. There we go. That's it, everybody. <laughs> that's, that was our match. Super simple, super easy. Really quick way to put some cards together and just get a win in, get some extra bonus cards. And there you have it, everybody. That was basically our Jumpin' events. In conclusion, Jumpin' is a great cheap way to build a collection on MTG Arena. If you want to focus on the standard or alchemy formats, Jumpin' is also a fantastic way to learn how to build a deck and understand synergies and strategies. However, because it only allows you to get cards from standard or alchemy, if you're a person that's wanting to build something else on maybe Explorer, Historic, Historic Brawl, you might want to look at other ways to build a collection. That's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching everyone, and just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later!